Hello, uh, good morning. This is Harold, and the complaint department is open. Um, this morning I want to talk about uh, a couple items, and uh, first one is, uh, have you ever uh, went to do something in your house, and uh, you went into another room, and uh, either you were, you, know, you were looking for something, or you were going to perform some kind of action, and um, you get in there and all of a sudden you've forgotten what it was you came in there for. Uh, and uh, it seems to be that uh, for me I have to backtrack and go back to where I was before, wherever room I was in, to figure out, you know, for some reason, uh, uh, psychologically, uh, whatever it was that you had intended to do comes back to you when you go back to the other room wherever it was when you first got the thought but anyways uh, that's that's not a thing that uh, I think happens to a lot of people um, another thing uh, uh, here's a little annoyance is uh, uh, you ever get people that uh, let their dogs poop in your yard I mean it seems like uh, you know they're walking your dog there's nothing wrong with walking, walking your dog but uh, you know they seem to stop in your yard <laughs> and, uh, you know, let their dog do their thing, you know, and, and it's annoying, you know, and uh, I, I know sometimes you're supposed to have, uh, you know, the bags that you bring with them, but a lot of people don't really, uh, you know, uh, follow through on that idea. They just leave whatever the dog has dropped there. So that's, that's something that annoys me, but, you know. Um, how about, uh, have you ever been on a, a, a driving trip and uh, maybe it's you and uh, your significant other or, or, or just by yourself maybe, but uh, the point is uh, you get lost, okay, and, and you actually really don't know where you're at, you know, or you're looking for something and instead of um, asking someone, you know, you decide that, you know, you're going to, uh, you know, uh, see if you can figure it out or, or wh whatever the case is. And I don't know whether that's just, uh, you know, it's just being stubborn or you're afraid or, you know, but uh, uh, that's another thing. I'm sure it's happened to a lot of people where, you know, you, you know, oh, I'll figure it out. But in the meanwhile, you know, you're, you're getting deeper and deeper into being lost. So uh, that's something that I've thought about. Um, how about, uh, ever go to a dentist's office? Now, me, of course, um, I should have went a long, a long time ago. I should have took care of, better care of my teeth, obviously. But, um, just, uh, when you go in there and you're sitting down and you're just waiting, you know, when you're waiting for, uh, whatever's going to happen. And, uh, even that can be traumatic because I know, you, you know, even though there's magazines and stuff on the table, I mean... I'm not really paying that much attention to the magazine. I'm thinking about what the heck is this guy going to do to me with all those drills and hooks and things that he's had, you know, he has at his disposal. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's all about thinking about pain. <laughs> so anyways, uh, dentist's office is uh, a little bit of annoyance. Um, um, how about this? Have you ever, um, like in a snowstorm, if you're in a snow belt, and uh, you have a snowstorm, and uh, you're out on the road also, you know, and uh, you get these people that, uh, and I know people get in a hurry, you got to get into work, so forth and so on, but I've seen these people driving these like igloo cars, like where they have like one little uh, circle that they've cleared out where they can just peer out, just barely see through that, okay, and they're driving along, and they can't see on any, you know, any other part of the, you know, you can't see around the side of you or anything. Very unsafe, very scary, and it's got to be scary for the person inside the car, but it scares me, and I'm not even in their car, you know. It's like, holy cow, how can you navigate, you know, but yet you get people to do that. That's, that's something. A little funny, but a little unsafe. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for today, but uh, anyways, um, I'll be back when I can uh, uh, 
come up with some more ideas and some thoughts of things that, you know, that uh, I might want to complain about or just things that, uh, uh, that seem a little bit humorous, you know, in our everyday lives. Uh, so have a good day and uh, we'll be seeing you.